Hello everyone, my name is John and I'm the Science Educator for Children's Museum Houston. And we are outside our HEB market to do a little food experiment with a little snack that everyone might know using marshmallows. Now this science experiment is sponsored by our friends at HEB. Now let's get some water, cornstarch, and a few marshmallows and we can get started. Now I have a glass of water and then I have large and small marshmallows. Now let's see if they sink. Nope, floating like a boat. Also floating like a boat. Now the challenge is, how do we get this to sink? Let's try a couple different methods. The first method to try and sink a marshmallow would be to squish all the air out. So marshmallows have a lot of air pockets that make this less dense than water. So we're gonna try and squeeze all the air out, make this as small as possible. And whether you have big ones or small ones, you can try the same method, I'll do it to both. And what you'll notice is it's gonna to start to get a little squishy, and then it's also going to get a little sticky. So we have a solution in just a second in this bowl that will help us with the sticky problem. Now once you've gotten it as small as possible, Let's test it out. Well, it, this one tried to sink, but it's still floating. Now let's try the cornstarch. Now if you have flour or baking powder, those will also work the same way. With your bowl of cornstarch or baking powder, you'll take your marshmallow and you'll start doing the same squishing method, but you'll add some of the corn starch to it. What this will help with is the stickiness. It'll help you really get it as flat as possible. And it's also nice, fun, and messy. And then when you think you've gotten it small enough, drop it into your water and see if your new marshmallow is more dense than the water. If it is, it should sink to the bottom. Now let's try a big one. This one has a lot more air pockets in it than the smaller one. But you'll do the same exact technique, try and squish it as small as possible. And I've had mixed results with it. So uh, sometimes this works perfectly, sometimes I don't make it dense enough. We'll keep going until it's really small and then we'll try it out. See if we can sink it all the way to the bottom. Now you can, like I said, you can try baking powder. And you can even try flour to try and eliminate the stickiness of the marshmallow sticking to your hands. Because a lot of times if you're balling it up, it'll start to come off because of the heat on your hands. Okay, let's see. Let's test it out. Three, two, one, please sink. Oh, it tried. Let's try one more, see if we can do it. Like I said, this is all about being a scientist. We tried it out, wasn't dense enough, wasn't as dense as the little marshmallow, still had too much air in it. And we'll try just a little bit longer and then we will sign off. I'm gonna try one more little one too just so we have an actual successful one too, just in case this doesn't work. Okay, in three, two, one. Let's try our big marshmallow one more time. Oh, still floating. But we can end on a good scientific note with our little marshmallow, hopefully sinking to the bottom. Thank you guys for tuning in today to learn a little bit about density using marshmallows. Now, if you guys are following us on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can get our daily content that we're putting out every day. Now, again, my name is John, the science educator for Children's Museum Houston, and we will see you next time.